Today's topic is on subgraphs and this is the subtopic from the graph theory. In this video, I'll give a clear cut idea on what is graph, what is subgraph, what is proper subgraph and what is spanning subgraph with few examples. See here, let me explain you what is a graph and how it is formed. See for example, V, it is a set of all vertices. So what are these vertices? So if I take V1, V2, V3 and V4, see here, these are nothing but the points. See, vertices are nothing but the points or vertices or nodes. And see here, these are the edges. So edges are nothing but the lines. So if I consider the four, so these are nothing but the lines or edges. So if these points and these lines, see here, if they add up, so it will become a graph. See here, this is one, two, three, four. These are dots, nothing but the vertices. So this is V1, this is V2, this is V3 and this is V4. And if you consider these edges E1, E2, E3 and E4 and if I join these two with a lion it will be E1. So if I join these two points this will be E2. If I join these two this will be E3 and this is E4. So this is nothing but the graph. So how the graph is formed? So with the set of ver for vertices and set of edges so graph is formed. So this is the combination of the points and the lines. So, which is nothing but the vertices and the edges. So, in the graph theory, it is called a vertex. So, in the graph theory, we represent V as vertex and E with edge. So, all together, it is a graph G. So, then what is a subgraph? See, coming to this, we have the main set V with four points. So, four vertices. So, if I take V1 with only three vertices. So this is V1, V2 and V3. See here. And from this edge set, if I consider V1 with three points, see this is E1, E2 and E3. So these are three points. So this is V1, this is V2 and this is again V3. So if I join all these, with the lines edges so this is e1 this is e2 and this is e3 so this is also a graph so this graph is called uh, h1 so this called this is called h so this is nothing but the subgraph so what is this so this is nothing but the subgraph see here so this graph is formed with the help of few vertices from the main set G and few edges from the, see here, edge set, edge set. So this is the main graph G and this is nothing but the subgraph H. So this is about the subgraph. So we have to select a few points from the main set V. So this will become V1. And if I select a few points from the E and it will become E1. So H is V1, E1. After selecting few vertices from the main set V and edge set E and making a graph again. So, this will be a subgraph to this main graph. Clear? So, now coming to the point here. What is a subgraph? See, now let me explain you. So, a graph H V1 E1 is called a subgraph. So, this is called a subgraph of the main graph G is equal to V comma E if V1 subset or equal to V and E1 subset or equal to E. Clearly I explained. So this is the vertex set. This is the edge set. So V1 E1 is selected or abstracted from the main set V and E and it will become a subgraph if V1 if V1 is strictly subset or equal to V and E1 subset or equal to E. So, this is nothing but the subgraph. And coming to the proper subgroup. So, what is this proper subgroup? A graph H V1 E1 is called a proper subgroup of the main set G V comma E. If V1 strictly subset to V and E1 strictly subset to E. So, if it is, if there is equality here, subset or equality, then we say that a subgraph, if it is a strictly subset, V1 subset to V and E1 subset to E, then we say that the given graph is a 
proper subgraph. And what is this spanning subgraph? See here, a graph H is called a spanning subgraph of the main graph G if V1 equal to V. If V1 equal to V, then we say that it is a spanning subgraph. See here, it depends upon the subset. Subgraph, if, it is, if V1 subset or equal to E1 subset or equal to E. It is a proper subgraph if V1 subset to V and E1 subset to E. Spanning subgraph if V1 equal to E. Note. So, here is a small note here. So, if H is a subgraph of the main graph G, then all the vertices of H are in G. See here, all the vertices. So, here is the vertex V1, V2 and V3. All the vertices are in the main set that is V1, V2, V3. And next all the edges E1, E2, E3 are the edges in the main set E1, E2, E3. So all the vertices, all the edges and all the end points will be from the main graph. So we have taken few from the main graph and we have created another graph and this is the subgraph. And this is what it is uh, they are telling. So all the vertices of H are in G and all the edges of H are in G and each edge of H has the same endpoints or in H as in G. Next, a spanning subgraph of G need not contain all the all the edges. See here, a spanning subgraph is nothing but only it talks about the vertices V1 equal to V. This is a spanning subgraph. And see here, a spanning subgraph of G need not contain all the edges in G. And next one, any subgraph of G can be obtained. So, we can obtain a subgraph by removing certain vertices and edges from the main graph. See here, certain vertex. So, this is the main graph. So, in this main graph, V1, V2, V3 and V4 are there. So, I have removed this one. So, uh, here and this one also is removed. So, what is uh, the subgraph of the main graph here? V1, V2, V3 and E1, E2, E3 are selected and see this become the subgraph of this main graph. And see if you delete some vertices or some edges from the main graph. So, after forming the another figure or the another diagram with the rest of the vertices and the edges this that will become the subgraph and that is called the subgraph of the main graph is obtained by removing certain vertices and edges so this is about the subgraph and let me explain you clearly with an example now so see here here is an example on the subgraph consider a graph g give some examples of the subgraphs so this is the main graph g and see here what is a subgraph and what is the main graph. So, this is the main graph. So, main graph has, so G has some vert vertices and some edges. So, talking about the vertices. So, V is nothing but V comma E. G is nothing but V comma V. In the vertex set, we have the vertices. See clearly V1, V2, V3. See here V1, V2, V3, V4, V5 v6 and v7 so they are seven vert vertices and next one here we have to select a few from this seven so v1 and I'll, I'll select so this is first one this is v1 i am selecting few vertices and making a subgraph see i'll take this one v1 v2 this v6 and v7 so these four i am taking this is v1 this is v2 this is V6 and V7 and I will make a subgraph with it. This is the main graph G and now I will make a subgraph. See now V1, V2, V6 and this is V1, this is V2, this is V6 and this is V7. Now see here from the main graph we have an edge with V1, V2. See V1 and V2 is having an edge. Now, clearly, I'll make an edge with V1, V2 here also. And next, there is an edge with V2. See here, V2 to V7, there is an edge here. So, I'm making V1, uh, V2 to uh, this V7. And next, V7 to V6, there is an edge here. See, V, V6 to V7, there is an edge. Next, V6 to V1. So, this is V6 to V1. And next, V1 to V7, there is an edge. V1 to 
V7 there is an end edge and V2 to V6 there is a parallel edge here V2 to V6. So this will be see here this will be a subgraph to this main graph G. So this is the main graph and in this main graph we have seven vertices. Out of this seven vertices V1 I have considered only four that is V1, V2, V6 and uh, V7 and this is the graph and which is nothing but the subgraph of this main graph. So this is the example and the second example I am taking here see here I will take another set. So in this set I will take this is V1, V2, V3 and next V4 this is V5, V6 and V7. So all the seven vertices I have taken and now see here there is an edge with V1 to V2 see here. V1, V2, this is V3, this is V4, this is V5, this is V6, this is V7. See, with this graph, there is an edge with V1 to V2. So, this is V1 to V2, next V2 to V3, and this is V2 to V3, this is V1, this is V2, this is V3, this is V4, this is V5. See here. This is V6, this is V7. So next V3 to V4, there is an edge here. V4 to V5, again an edge. V5 to V6 and next V6 to V7. So there is an edge here and next V7 to V1. See, this is an, another graph and which is nothing but the subgraph of this main graph. And see, this is how we have to make. So, this is the main graph G and these are the subgraphs. And you can make many more. And this is an example. Another example here is consider the graph G with vert vertex Z and the edge Z. And determine whether H is equal to V1, E1 is a subgraph of G or not. Where the first thing here is first V1. So, V1 has V1, V2 and V4. See here. And even has so from this main graph so this is the main graph and see here they have considered three vertices v1 v2 v4 so this is v1 this is v2 and this is v4 and the edge set here is v1 v2 so there is an edge set here and v1 to v4 v1 to v4 there is no edge here and therefore in the solution we can write solution 1 in the solution we can write h v1 e1 is not a subgroup, is not a subgraph of the main graph G. Since, see here, since V1, V4, see here, V1, V4, see, they asked V1, V4, and we have no edge here. V1, V4 is not an edge in G. So, it is not an edge in G. Therefore, it is not a sub subgraph and next one second solution to v1 v2 v3 and v4 see here this is v1 this is v2 this is v3 and v4 and v2 to v3 see here there is an edge here v2 to v3 there is an edge and v2 to v4 so the v2 to v4 so we have both the edges therefore we say that so solution 2 in the solution 2 we say that H comma, see here, this is H V1 E1. So, H V1 V E1 is a subgraph of the main graph G. Subgraph of the main graph G since V1, V2, V3, V4. So, we have V1, V2, V3 and V4. Four vertices from the main graph G and V1, V2 is also there. So, V1, V2 is also there and the next one V2, V4 edge is also there. So, therefore, we say that the given graph, the given graph is a subgraph to this main graph G that is V, comma E. So, this is how we have to clear and these are all the subgraphs and see today in this video I explained about the subgraphs, the proper subgraphs and the spanning subgraphs. In my upcoming video, I am going to teach you about the vertex deleted subgraph, edge deleted subgraph and in used subgraph with few examples. Don't miss that video. Please follow this video. If you really like this video, please pass it on to your friends. 
and as many uh, students as you can and please support this channel for more videos and thank you so much